Hello, this is Dow TV and let's take a look at what matters throughout the week. Iran's president has claimed victory against an enemy plot following a deadly crackdown by security forces on protests over petrol price rises. Subversive elements backed by the US, Israel and Saudi Arabia were behind the unrest, Hassan Rouhani alleged. Amnesty International has said it has received credible reports that at least 106 people have been killed since the protests erupted on Friday. Other sources have said the death toll may be far higher. The government has blocked Iranians' access to the Internet since Saturday, making it hard to gather information and access the situation on the streets. The protests erupted on Friday after the government announced the price of petrol would be increased by 50%. The decision was met with a widespread anger in a country where the economy is already reeling as a result of US sanctions that were reinstated last year when President Donald Trump abandoned a nuclear deal with Iran. The Iranian authorities have announced only few deaths. However, BBC Persian sources inside Iran have put the death toll at about 200. At least 29 people have died in landslides caused by severe weather in West Pokot country, Kenya. The landslides affecting the villages were reportedly caused by heavy rains. Officials say the villages have been cut off by flooded roads and at least one bridge was reportedly swept away. The Red Cross has confirmed it is responding to reports of the massive landslides. Kenya's meteorological department issued a warning of heavy rains on 18th of November, telling people in the landslide-prone areas to be on high alert. Countries throughout East Africa have been affected by the downpours in recent weeks. Landslides and flash floods have killed people in Ethiopia and Tanzania, while hundreds of thousands have been displaced in Somalia by heavy rains. Scientists warn that a weather system called the Indian Ocean Depot is making flooding worse in the area. Greece will shut down overcrowded refugee camps on islands facing Turkey and replace them with more restrictive holding facilities. The three centers to be closed on the islands of Chios, Samos and Lesbos, including its notorious Moria camp, currently house about 36,400 people under terrible conditions that have been repeatedly criticized by rights groups and Council of Europe. They have a nominal capacity of just 4,500. The Greek government said it would replace the camps with new closed facilities for identification, relocation and deportation with a capacity of at least 5,000 people each. Small camps on the islands of Kos and Leros are also to be remodeled along these lines and enlarged. Instead of being allowed to move freely in and out of the camps, asylum seekers will now be locked up until they are granted refugee status and relocated to the mainland or rejected and sent back to Turkey. SpaceX Starship rocket prototype experienced a major failure during pressurization testing on Wednesday. A video from a scene in Texas showed the top part of the vehicle rupture. Cryogenic propellantes that were being loaded at the time dispersed across the Boca Chica facility in a huge cloud. The US company built Starship as an all-purpose transportation system of the future. It will be used to ferry people and cargo off Earth and to destinations around the globe. The MK1 prototype was due to begin practice flights to an altitude of 20 kilometers in the coming weeks. In a tweet, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said that could no longer happen and ship would be retired. Development work is already being directed at another prototype labeled the MK3. Hundreds of koalas are feared dead as bushfires spread across Australia's east coast, ravaging their main habitat. But some people are doing what they can to save their vulnerable marsupials. A woman who used the shirt of her back to rescue a serious injured koala in New South Wales bushfire has been praised for saving his life. Tony Doherty pulled the crying koala from a burning tree near the town of Longflat, 
poured water on his burned pals and wrapped him in a duvet before taking him to Kuala Hospital. Thanks for watching us. See you next time.